It's the best economy class in the world. Yeah. It is. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you live from my second home, Miami International Airport. Today I'm super excited because I'm flying over to the country of Armenia. If you guys don't know where Armenia is, it's a landlocked country in Western Asia that's bordered by Turkey, Georgia, Iran, and Azerbaijan. I'm gonna be spending 10 days on the ground exploring with Armenia travel, and I can't wait to dive into the food, culture, history, and the world famous wine. I'm actually gonna be there during one of the biggest wine festivals in the country, the Arini Wine Festival. It looks amazing and takes place every single October. And after I leave Armenia, I'm gonna have a 48 hour layover in the country of Kuwait, my 76th country. I really can't wait to see what Kuwait's all about. You know, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Qatar, and you know, Kuwait's another one that I really wanted to go to. It's a small country and I just had to go. I have some time now, so I decided to make it happen. But before that, I need to get to Armenia. To get there, I'll be flying economy class on Qatar Airways, the best economy class in the world. I'm gonna be flying 14 hours from Miami to Doha, which is the capital of Qatar. I'll have a four hour layover there, and then I'm gonna fly three hours to Yerevan, which is Armenia's capital and largest city. So all in all, it's gonna be a 21 hour travel day. I'm super excited. Are you guys ready to travel to Armenia? Let's go. So Qatar Airways is located in Terminal E. I'm actually going to E23. I've flown Qatar like, I don't know, six times by now. Uh, every time I go to India, uh, Asia, I've gone through to all the way to China one time. And yeah, it's a long flight, but it's gonna be exciting. Best economy class in the world. Lots of food, entertainment, and good drinks. Gracias. <laughs> Al fin. Yeah. Al hey, how you doing? Enjoy your flight. Thank you. We're finally boarding. It's this side. Yes, this way. Thank you. <laughs> what up, man? You good? <laughs> good, man. Good. <laughs> pleasure. Right? Pleasure, man. All right, guys. So we boarded the flight, and we're about to take off. We're in a 350, an Airbus 350, to 333 configuration. And really, what I love about this economy class is that you have these amazing TVs with what is it? RX, RX1, right? RX1. You know, infinite entertainment. We have a lot of leg room here, and we got really lucky today. We have no one right here. <laughs> no one. Amazing. <laughs> it's so good. We also got a little packet. So this packet comes with, you know, uh, what is it, eye mask. You also got a uh, toothbrush and socks. And then we also got blankets. I love these blankets. I think these are, are these wool or this fleece? Please. Man, it's hot, man, it's hot. So we've been on the flight for about half an hour and the flight's actually 13 hours, not 14 hours. You know, every single airline gives like some buffer time because they don't want to be late. You know, so we did leave actually 20 minutes late. We're gonna get there still on time, maybe a little earlier. And here in Qatar, you always get a menu. It doesn't matter where you are in economy, you get a menu, it comes with, you know, dinner and brunch and drinks. And the way it works here is that if you go in economy, the best thing to do is to be in the far back because they take the order from the back first. So if you're gonna order the chicken biryani, which I want, it probably would be sold out because it's the most popular dish. And my boy here is, uh, you're what? So I have a cool priority with uh, Qatar and because I have status with them, basically anytime they come, anytime I fly, it really doesn't matter if I'm flying economy or business, they're gonna come to me, they're gonna say, hey, Hey, uh, thank you for being a gold member. This is our menu. What would you like to eat? And then basically I give them my entire list of choices for the entire flight. They'll get, um, serve me first. They'll make sure that I'm happy. And the manager will come out and reach out and say, hey, if there's anything we can do, we'll help you out. So for dinner, I got chicken biryani. There was a few different choices, but I think chicken biryani looks the best. Oh, I love biryani. So in here, look at this. Oh, let's try it. Good, different, a little crispy. And then here you have a big chunk of chicken. Wow. My God, delicious. And that's the best thing about Qatar. They have so many direct flights to India that they always have an Indian item on the menu. They actually have two on this menu, two biryani and they had like something else. Picofta, picofta. Yeah, but I'm all about the biryani. Man, the biryani is the best. I actually love the crispy onions on top. Raisins is just like it makes a little fruity taste, you know? Yep. And it wouldn't be an Indian meal without chickpeas. Always chickpeas. Mm. That was good. Yep. Chickpeas, 
got some, what is this, some onions, some red uh, red pepper. How's the biryani? Biryani is excellent. This is, uh, the food is very good. I think that this is one of the things that Qatar always excels at is their food. I've had a lot of different airline foods, but for whatever reason, they've been able to nail it, and I really am enjoying it, see? It's really, really good food. That's the thing about Qatar Airways, they don't hold back. Good food, good entertainment, lots of leg room. It's the best economy class in the world. Yeah. It is. Thank you. For the past like two hours, I've been here having a great conversation with my boy right here. We have an empty space in between us. This has been an epic flight, delicious food. We just had a cognac because I really want to like hit a nightcap. We really want to just crash right now, watch a movie and pass out. You know, they have endless movies here on Qatar Airways. Endless movies. They have like every single movie from the Marvel Infinity Saga, which starts like an Iron Man 1 all the way up to Spider-Man Far From Home. They have every single movie, 23, and you know, another like 100 movies on top of that. I'm going to watch Men in Black International right now. Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson. Love that combination. Can't wait for Thor 4. Now let's watch Men in Black International. I'll see you in the morning. Good. I'm good, man. I'm good. All right, guys. So I slept like uh, something like seven hours or something. Oh my god, <laughs> that was an awesome sleep. Got some coffee, mm. and we're literally like right there. We're about two hours away. Great. Only two hours to go, and yeah, we're having breakfast. And I got some. What is it? Paneer burji. Wow. Some some paneer. Some rice. Some vegetables. Oh man, Indian food for breakfast. All day. Unfortunately, they don't have doses on this plate. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like the ultimate breakfast here. It's like, here's your dosa. Food's <laughs> fine. Uh -huh. I've never been on an airline with an economy class food. Is this good? Never. See, for me, Pioneer is like my favorite thing. Really? Yeah, college cheese. Yeah. Like every time in when I'm in India, they're like, we have this and this and paneer. I'm like, paneer. <laughs> Besides the paneer burji, I'm just gonna have some coffee. Maybe have some of this orange juice. What else? Kit Kat. Always separate that, keep that in like emergency, you know. Kit Kat bar. So one of the best things about this little packet they give you is that they give you a toothbrush with toothpaste, which is awesome because after a flight of this, you really need to brush your teeth and get ready, you know, for your connection or if you're gonna stay in guitar, right? And yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick, brush my teeth, and get ready for landing literally in 30 minutes. I'm gonna have a four hour layover. Four hours isn't that bad, I mean, between getting there, going to a lounge, I'm probably gonna pay to go to a lounge. You know, the business class, I think it's like 85 US dollars to go to it. But I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you have, you know, some time because it's free food. You can like really relax there and it's like really the best lounge on the planet. Oh, I can't wait. All right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth really fast and then I'm gonna see you on the ground. All right. Okay, dude, we arrived. Yeah, we did, we did. That, that was a quick flight. <laughs> yeah, right. For you, for you. 13 hours, but I slept the whole time. Yeah, you did some those. Uh, I'm gonna try to get into the business class lounge now. Go for it. All right, so the flight was perfect. No turbulence, really good food. I watched like two movies, but I slept like seven, eight hours. I mean, just nonstop. I really wanted to get, you know, a lot of rest because when I land in Armenia, it's gonna be like one in the morning. I wake up really early the next day. Well, you'll get into a lounge. I don't know if you'll get into the same lounge, but you'll get into a lounge. <laughs> we'll make sure it happens. Nah, dude. I want this lounge. It's like it's like gold, bro. Yeah, no, no, it's good. <laughs> because I upgraded my ticket, what they did was they are sending me to the other lounge. Um, I'm not actually able to go to the premium lounge I'm on an upgraded ticket. However, I'm able to go to the gold lounge, which is still pretty good. It's not as nice as the uh, as the uh, you know the premium lounge, but it's better than nothing. So. And he gets to bring a guest. Yeah, and a guest. Luckily so. for me. <laughs> so make a friend on the flight. Yeah, make a friend on the flight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a guest. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. We got in. Let's see this lounge. This is a new one for me. I actually haven't seen this because they changed it from, they shut down the old lounge, moved to this one. Maybe it'll be better. Let's hope. This is the first time I'm visiting this lounge. I visited the other one, which is like crazy. It's like literally like covered in gold. 
This one looks amazing as well. This is like a tier two. All right, so there's three lounges here in Qatar Airport. This is like the second best one, as you can see. Really open space. So there's three different sections here. Over here to the right where we're sitting is more like, you know, relax, a few different chairs, you know, more like to sit and like do some work. Over there to the left, there's some tables so you can like lounge and eat food. And at the very end where the food is, there's actually tables we can sit and eat, right? So there's food and there's drinks. And right here, I got some, uh, so some tabbouleh some hummus and then some chicken salad, right? And it's like a veg chicken salad. Just jump on this food, I'm starving. Mmm, wow. It's almost like minced chicken, like diced up. Nice veg, very refreshing. Next we got the salad. Mmm, I love the bulle. What I do, mix the hummus. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Mm. <coughs> yeah, guys, so what you do here, you chill, eat food. They also have a place you can sleep. So a sleeping area right behind me. And they also have like bathrooms, but they, but they have showers as well. So you can take a shower, refreshing up. So definitely bring, you know, an extra pair of clothes. I didn't bring more clothes to change. So I'm not gonna take a shower now. I'm just gonna wait till I get to Armenia. And cheers, guys. Good red wine. Wow. Hey, thank you. Amazing service here. Just came over here with the bottle of wine and served me up. Still got around 90 minutes before boarding. Uh, it's a really long layover, four hours is a long time. Usually I have like two, three hours max. Four hours is way too long. But at least we're here in the business class lounge, relaxing. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. Have a good one. Subscribe, man. Yeah. I'm already a shop. Uh, okay, okay. If you have a connection that's over two hours, I highly suggest you go to any of the lounges and you can actually pay to get in there if you're not flying business class. This one is called the business class lounge and it actually costs $69 for six hours. I think it's definitely worth it because you go in there, you know, you get on your Wi-Fi, you eat some food, you get unlimited drinks. So unlimited food, unlimited drinks. You can take a shower there. I mean, super, super comfortable. And yeah, if you guys don't know about Hamad International Airport, this is Qatar's only international airport. It's located south of the capital of Doha and opened on April 30th, 2014. It replaced Doha International Airport as the country's principal airport. Its most prominent fixture is the lamp bear, which is a giant bronze statue of a teddy bear with its head in a lamp. And Qatar Airways flies to over 160 destinations worldwide. So if you're coming from Miami, you fly Qatar and you can go to over 160, well, 159 destinations, right? You can go to Ahmedabad, Athens, Barcelona, Chicago, Hyderabad, Kathmandu, London, Osaka, Rome, Venice, and Zurich. All right, so let's go board the flight. We're boarding in literally 20 minutes, 20 minutes, finally. 20 minutes and then three hours straight, that's good. That's not bad. And here we are, the lamp right in front of us, the teddy bear lamp. My gate today is C27, so if you're going to C20 or C29, you actually have to go down when you get to, I think it's, uh, what is this, what's right here? So I think it's like C8, when you get around there, you have to go downstairs, and then there's nine more gates here. It's super, super humid here in Qatar. I mean, my entire camera falls up the second I step outside. We're going to take a bus over to, uh, to our plane. Namaste. Namaste in Yerevan. <laughs> I say namaskar, namaskar. 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 Always, always. I really wish we were going business class. Look at this. This is business class. This is like incredible. Man, what am I doing in 14A? No, not the life I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. This is an A320, so Airbus A320. It's a 3-3 configuration. Another great flight. Another awesome flight because our airways only three hour flight. As you saw, business class looks epic. I mean, if you're going in business class, you're gonna have an amazing time because I've been in business class with Qatar Airways. It's really amazing, but I mean, if you're gonna pay for it, it's really costly. I suggest just upgrading with miles or booking in advance with miles for sure. I actually couldn't do it with this flight. I bought this flight flat out, just paid for it. Really good. And yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm probably just gonna maybe watch one movie, get there, then go straight to the hotel. All right, so we just took off and I'm super happy because we have endless entertainment and they actually have every single movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Probably not to watch that much, but my friend here, Lale. Lale, you're from Armenia, right? Hi, yes, I'm Armenian. And you never watched the Marvel movies? <laughs> I've watched one, but not all. <laughs> I'm not a fan of superheroes, sorry guys. All right, so for dinner we're having lamb stew. Lamb stew with some mashed potatoes. We got some, uh, some peas, carrots, looks really good. I'm a huge fan of lamb, hopefully there's no bones. Oh wow, 
Wow, it's so buttery, creamy. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. How's yours? It's great. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm way more about the lamb. Um, solid, fluffy, creamy mashed potatoes as well. I feel like there's cheese in here. And you got some of the peas. Mm. Always good food on this airline. This airline's the best. And right here we have a potato salad. This is actually the appetizer. You're supposed to eat this before the lamb, but I messed up. I thought it was a fruit salad. So potato salad, very refreshing. We got onions, corn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, loving it. Wow, this is an amazing potato salad. David, I got uh, chicken majbus. It's amazing, it's delicious. Cheers. <laughs> so basically, that's like the Qatari version of the biryani, right? Qatari biryani? Let's try it. Oh. Oh. Biryani. It's freaking amazing. Mm. I love I love the spices. The spices, the chicken. Mm. Very good. The, the next time, I get that. So we just arrived in Yerevan, the capital and largest city of Armenia. It is my 75th country. I'm so excited for this trip. And yeah, it was a quick three hour flight, no bumps. And I'm really happy I made my friend here. Hey, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Hey, nice thank you, again. thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Time. Thank you. Right. Hey, how you doing? Yo. Welcome. <laughs> My Armenian sidekick. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be awesome. So yeah. get the bags. God, my bags. The cognac. The cognac? Ararat. 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 Looks good. So as soon as I walked out, was a guy with my name, and he's my driver. He's taking me straight to the hotel. It's like 1:30 in the morning right now. And what I do every time I go anywhere internationally, any country, I go straight to an ATM. Go to the ATM, pull out cash. That'll give you the best exchange rate in the world. It's like literally like changing a million dollars. That's the exchange right here. So right now the drum, the Armenian drum, it's like 95,000 is 200 dollars. So whatever, it's like 47,000 is 100 dollars. So that's sort of the exchange rate right now. So I pulled out 200 dollars worth. I don't think I need too much. And she also said I can use credit card anywhere in this country. Getting out of the airport was really really quick. We just walked across, got in the car, drove out, and as soon as we got out, we see a huge bottle of wine like I told you guys before this is a wine country I'm going to a wine festival I'm super excited about the wine so many delicious wines sweet wines and they also have brandy oh guys I'm excited I'm so excited it's really late it's 1 30 in the morning literally didn't get to the hotel check in go upstairs see my room and pass out we should be there in the next like 10 minutes so we're entering Yerevan as you can see can't see that much it's really dark some lights, I see some monuments. There's actually a sign right there that says like Brandy Factory, really, really nice. And yeah, I'm super excited. I got 10 days starting tomorrow, 10 full days to explore Armenia. Man, it's gonna be an amazing trip. This country I've been dying to go to. And today's been a super long travel day. I mean, 21 hours, started off in Miami, flew to Doha. It was 13 hour flight, super smooth. Made a good friend on the flight, watched the movie, slept like eight hours, ate really good food, lots of entertainment. Then I had a four hour connect. Went to a business class lounge, luckily my friend got me in, but if you want to go to that lounge, it's $69 per person for six hours, so definitely worth it if you have a long layover, four plus hours, you should definitely go there. Really good food, you can take a shower, you can sleep, I mean, I highly recommend it. Like, I really highly recommend it. You don't want to just sit around. And then after that, I flew three hours straight to Armenia. Really quick, I mean, Qatar Airways is the best economy class in the world, so I highly recommend, if you're flying from Miami to Qatar, you can connect to 160 destinations worldwide, so definitely do it. Well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Armenia. Armenia, yeah, Armenia. <laughs> yeah.